All right, gonna show you that pornography is nothing more than just digital fornication. Because if you read Matthew chapter five, verse 28, it says, if you look upon a woman to lust after her, you committed adultery in your heart, that's for married people. So when you're married and you're watching pornography, you're committing what I like to call a digital adultery in your heart, basically. You're committing adultery in your heart digitally, okay? But then when you're unmarried, you're committing what I call digital fornication. Because that's what pornography is. Because when you're unmarried, you're still looking upon a woman to lust after her, and in a sense, you know, you're not committing adultery because you're not married, but in a sense, you are committing fornication just digitally. So pornography is nothing more than just digital fornication without committing the actual act physically. You're doing it visually. Okay, but going to show you from the uh, Strong's Concordance. And of course, Strong's Concordance, uh, you got to be careful because there is some sketchy stuff in there. Uh, I believe it does be uh, blend some of the Alexandrian Greek text with the text of Septa, so you got to be careful there. But uh, a couple of the Greek words for uh, fornication, uh, it's a G4202, this is a pornea, and it means a harlotry, including adultery, incest, figuratively, idolatry, fornication. Okay, notice how the word is pornea. Okay, this is where the word pornography comes from. So, the modern word pornography comes from the word pornea, which, what does it mean? Harlotry, adultery, incest, figuratively idolatry, or fornication. Other Greek word is porniou. Okay, it says to act the harlot. So, playing the harlot, basically, prostitution. Unlawful lust of either sex, uh, practice adultery to commit fornication. So again, porn to you. Again, you have the word porn, where the word pornography comes from. It's unlawful lust. It's fornication. And of course, it comes from uh, the uh, G2, G4204, which I have pulled up right here. Oops, wrong button. How do I zoom in? There we go. Uh, this is the word porn. So that's where you get the word porn. It comes from this. Uh, feminine, because a lot of pornography involves males watching naked women. Uh, feminine of G205, which is hornos. Um, it means a strumpet, figuratively, idolater, harlot, or whore. Okay, and I understand using the word whore is not very popular, but it is a scriptural word. But harlot, you know, whore, playing the whore, playing the harlot. Porn, that's what it is. See, pornography and prostitution go hand in hand. And this Greek word, porne. Porne, I think that's how you say it, has a good definition there, porne, is uh, being a harlot or a whore. So when you're work, when you're a pornography um, model, you're playing the harlot because you're you're showing your, you're you're putting yourself out there for lustful men to watch and to commit digital fornication. But you see three different Greek words all contain the word porn, which is where the modern word pornography comes from. Again, let me show you those words again. Uh, so you got is um, also the Old Testament words too in the Hebrew. Uh, and again, the Textus Receptus, you do gotta be a little bit careful because there is, or sorry, not, not Textus Receptus, the uh, Strong's Concordance. You gotta be a little bit careful because there is some blending of the Alexandrian text type. So just be be careful, be aware of that if you ever do decide to. And I'm also, I'm not the kind of person where I just love going back to the Greek and I correct the King James with the Greek. No, I, I do occasionally use the Greek as a, uh, a dictionary, but that's pretty much it. I mean, the Strong's Concordance. That's all I really use the Greek for. I don't say you should correct the King James with the Greek. But you have, again, um, uh, sorry, just scrolling through that. Oh, there's also uh, ek pornu, which is to give self over to fornication, kind of like you're giving yourself over to, over to pornography, digital fornication. Uh, pornia, which is harlotry, adultery, incest, fornication. And then there's also porniu. Porn you, I think I say it, porn you. Um, again, to commit fornication, unlawful lust, to act as a harlot. So, uh, and again, that's uh, G, first one is G1608, uh, G4202, G4203, and then G4204. So, that's where the, these are where the modern word of pornography comes from, from basically definition for unlawful lust, incest, adultery, fornication. So, pornography is nothing more, as I said before, nothing more than digital online fornication. And again, when you're married, it's digital online adultery in your heart. So, you may not be physically doing the act, but in your heart, you're lusting after her unlawfully. And let me show you a verse of scripture to kind of end this off. Actually, let me just screen share again. 
And again, you know, uh, this is like, I, re I very rarely ever use Greek to like do videos, but I found, I think this was important just to show the origins of how the word pornography comes from a word that means fornication. But uh, 1 Corinthians 7, 1 to 2, Now concerning the things thereof, he wrote unto me, it is not good, it is good for a man not to touch a woman, nevertheless to avoid fornication, same thing to avoid digital fornication, pornography, let every man have his own wife and let every woman have her own husband. Okay, pornography will never satisfy you. And if you do get addicted to pornography while you're married and committing digital adultery in your heart, uh, you're gonna, it's gonna cause your wife not to give you the satisfaction that you should have. So uh, to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife. It doesn't say to avoid fornication, just um, go on the internet and look at some pictures. No, have his own wife. If you wanna avoid fornication, Okay, stay away from pornography because pornography will eventually lead you to go out and do worse things, more perverted, lascivious acts. So I wanted to show you guys that. So yeah, pornography is online fornication. And before the online age, it would be you'd read something and then commit fornication that way. It could be a uh, visual fornication, I'll put it that way. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.